Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. And this week's Fool is not a politician, but someone who phoned into the David Lammy segment on LBC. Sean, the caller, got into a bit of a debate over statues and history, and then he made probably one of the most ridiculous statements I've ever heard on this radio show. Now he starts off complaining about statues and then ends up, ends up making the dumbest suggestion yet. Let's pick up where David is challenging Sean on history. Because the, you've got statues all over the place. It, the, the, the pigeon toilets, the horrible. I don't understand why people have got statues in this country. So do you think they should you know all come I mean? down? Uh, the majority of them should come down. Because it's just getting out. It's just getting out of hand, mate. But what, 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 what's, what's your what, feeling? What what's your feeling in, in this case? Uh, Sir Francis Drake made a massive contribution to uh, uh, English history. Um, uh, he was key um, in saving us uh, from the Spanish Armada, um, but he also led the slave expeditions and in this case it's not actually about bringing the statue down uh it's about a new panel that explains and balances the contribution that he made do, do you think that's unreasonable look at david i hate every racism i, I cannot stand racism but I, I love every kind of person right but there comes a time where you've got to turn around and say to yourself well, if there's one rule for that family and one rule for another family, and get, it's just getting out of hand. Just, just but how is, it, the, how is it getting out of hand? It's only just come up in the last... It's only come up since George Mike. Floyd died. It's, it's, not, it's not been going on that long. How's that getting out of hand? Because people are raising it in the last year or so. Because it's just... It's history. We've got to look forward. You know what I mean? History. But, I, but I suppose some people and, say... Sean, some people say... Sean, some people would say... I would ban history in schools. It is pointless. <laughs> what? I would ban history in schools because people are complaining about statues. I would ban history in schools because statues don't make any sense to me. Or we have statues up uh, for people I, I like and and I have we have statues up for people I don't like. So the solution to the issue of statues is to ban history. <laughs> Okay, how the hell would you do that? Is Sean talking about book burning? Is he talking about banning, you know, going, you know, imposing some sort of year zero like Mao uh, did in China? What is he talking about here? <laughs> this is just, once again, somebody who doesn't understand the problem here wants a simple solution to this problem. Um, look, you know, I, I know calling into a, a radio show with one idea and you end up talking about something else. Perhaps he just wanted, he doesn't understand why these statues are so controversial and why there are people who want to tear them down. And earlier in the call, he also made a point about how the royal family have statues and nobody's, you know, suggesting that they get torn down, um, which is actually an interesting question. You know, if there are slave owners who have stat ex-slave owners or former slave owners uh, who have statues of them around the country and there is a suggestion that they should be removed from that place most people are not talking about tearing down the statues and throwing them away but putting them in a museum for example having a context around them but the idea that well we have this controversy we have these debates and I don't like listening to them. <laughs> so the solution is to ban history. Um, it's almost to the point it's like where Boris Johnson didn't want to talk about Brexit anymore. And he wanted to ban the word Brexit. How did that work out? Anyway, Sean is our Fool of the Week. I'll see you next time for our next Fool of the Week. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. 
so why not check it out?